I want to start this video off with a shout out to Rubik's Cube Review. He makes reviews and unboxings on different types of cubes, and I'm sure a few subscribes and likes and views will help him out a lot. So if you want to check out his channel, make sure to visit the link in the description down below or that info card right there. If you guys want a shout out, all you have to do is leave a comment below or in any of my videos telling me that you want a shout out so I actually know that you want one and optionally subscribe because that will help out my channel a lot as well. If you've seen a title, you probably know what today's video is about. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the EPLLs as an edge commutator. In simple, an edge commutator is a way to swap three or more edges. This might sound very familiar to you as all of the EPLLs are actually edge commutators. However, because of how PLLs work, they only swap edges on one well, I guess I'll say layer of the cube. For example, let's take a look at a H perm. In this perm, we swapped this edge with this edge and this edge with this edge. However, what if we want to swap these two as well as these two? We can't just directly use the H perm, can we? Because, well, that's not swapping the edges we want. However, what we can do is move these two edges up to where we want to swap them. Let me give you an example. We want to swap this edge with this edge and this edge with this edge. We can move this one to the top and this one to the top. Now we can effectively use an edge perm to swap the edges that we want without messing up anything else. And now we just move it down. As you can see, we swap the edges that we want. Now, let me give you an example with a U-perm. Similarly, we can use a U-perm as such. I'm going to be using this U-perm. As you can see, we've swapped these three edges in a clockwise cycle. Let me restore the solid state. Now, what if you want to swap this edge, this edge, and this edge in such a counterclockwise cycle? Again, we can move this edge here where it will be um, executed on, and what we can do is that same U perm. Now we can move the edge back down. As you can see, these three edges are now swapped. Commutators obviously are much more powerful and complicated than what I just showed you. However, if you wanted to do a commutator very fast or without learning anything new, using the EPLLs to swap the edges is a very good idea. However, if you want a more in-depth tutorial about how actually to swap any three edges and make your own algorithm, that video will be coming up in a couple of weeks. But with that, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!